three gold for the fairy. Thanks for following Cute Skeleton 07. Wrap on. Oh, hello. Thanks for stepping on my face. Here's the three gold. You got three gold. Now let's get back over there. Three gold for the fairy, because I get three free gold. Yeah. Thanks for stepping on my face. And I get three gold again. The cheese has been here so long, and magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the myth mystical crystal. <laughs> it fills you with determination. Okay. Let's move. Hey, Sans. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope. But, since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use a telescope? Oh yeah, there's nothing here to be seen. Nothing at all. Except a dot around my eye. Oh? You're unsatisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. There's the box. I have no idea who you are. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Okay, nothing there. Um, wonder if Papyrus can say anything here. Ring, ring. Huh? My brother? Of course he has a telescope. Sans loves out of spacey sci-fi stuff. Hmm? He never told you? Yeah, Sans never tells anybody anything. Don't think anything different. Thanks for calling. Oh, that's it. I relocated my store, but there's still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Ice cream, it's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Sure, why not? Super! Here you go, your card's in the box. You got the ice cream. The box contains one card. Take one card? Yeah. You're carrying too much. Whoops. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Still wonder about those mushrooms that glow and if that does anything by turning them off. <sighs> Gotta use the other box. Yeah, use the box. Oh my god. Uh, here we go. The box contains one card. I'm taking a card. A punch card. Yeah, not many people in here apparently this time. Use the box? Yeah. I think people have seen Undertale played before, so there's not many people wanting to show up for it. But it's a classic game already. It's so fun. I mean, I don't know why people wouldn't want to show up. It's just, it's a fun game and stuff. Yeah. Full of exploration, full of mystery, full of great plot. Whoops. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a school night. So, unfortunately, not a lot of people would be able to, um... Uh... Come in and see. Yeah. 
I'm sure if I did this on the weekend, there'd be more people, but eh, it's Thursday. It's not too bad. And I do want to thank you all for coming anyways, because this is an awesome stream filled with awesome people. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Anything down here? Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you was very... murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious, suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Let's call him again. There's no response. But why would I want to change out of the tutu? Wash with shovels up. Time to get clean. You ask Washer to clean you? It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Ah, dang it. Ah, frick. Washer wonders if tears are sanitary. Can I spare you? Yes, I can. Let's go up. You're passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. Um, was there anything in any of the other directions? Ch I'm trying to remember. Ah! Aaron, why? Uh, it's fine. Do a flexing contest, I guess. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. Ah, dang it. Yeah, the controller is totally working out. Yeah, nice. Nice, I won't lose. And let's just use an item. Unicycle. Because it's not a bicycle, it's a unicycle. Recovered 11 HP. No need for a swimming suit, winky face. Yeah, good times. Let's act with a flex. And Aaron flexes very hard, so much he flexes out of the room. You only have a question, one question about the Echo Flower conversation was there really long pauses between their conversations because the Echo Flowers are really spread out. Well... Hard to say, because apparently that's not the case. Apparently their conversation was able to last the entire duration of going around everywhere. Did I go this way? I don't remember. Oh no I didn't. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Yep, I'll take the ballet shoes. Ballet. Clie. All right, so let's go to the item box. See what the ballet shoes say. Weapon, attack seven. These used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. Okay. Even though I don't need the attack for anything. Are you equipped the ballet shoes? Great. Toy knife, well, let's see. Made of plastic. A rarity nowadays. Okay. That was good. I have no idea if Echo Flowers can move around, but that would make it a nice creepy factor. Just imagine flowers following you wherever you go. Aaron. Okay, let's flex. Flexing contest? Okay. Eh, sweat bullets. 
and is ready for your next flex. Um, I can't say the name of my favorite character because it's spoilers. Yeah. Flexing thrice is hard. Nice. I won't lose, though. Winky face. Yeah. Let's get him out of here. With his... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 pack? He flexes himself out of the room. And I get 30 gold. Yeah. Okay. Let's -a go. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Hmm. Oh no, it's Onion San. Okay, here we go. Hey, there. Not a steward. Here. I'm Onion San. Onion San, you here? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah. Me too! It's my big favorite! Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, hey! That's okay! It beats moving into the city! And living in a crowded aquarium! Like all my friends did! And the aquarium's full anyways, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Yeah, I do hear. Hey there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around, have a good time. In Waterfall. Good times, good times. Yeah. Ah! Oh, Shiren. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Let's check. Tone deaf. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Deadly, huh? Hum, hum. Shiren taps a little beat with her fins. I wonder if I can duct. Weave your arms around wildly. You are now vulnerable to electric attacks. Uh oh. Toot. Sharon pretends to be a pop idol. Let's see if I smile. You smile, you ask to see Sharon smile too. Sharon gets quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. Oh my goodness. Aaron, what are you doing here? Let's hum. You hum a jazz ballad. Sharon follows your melody. See Ray, see Ray, see me, see me. Sharon seems much more comfortable singing along. Okay, now let's give some mercy. Spare. The Northern Room hides a great treasure. Oh, credit, I forgot how to do this. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Corridor. I hear thing I just said. Corridor. There's a piano here. Play it? Yep. Hmm. See if I can remember how to do this. Let's 
Yeah, I don't remember how to do it.